All right, cron uh, cross hatching with two colors. So I've been doing a lot of the purple and the pink, so let's not cross hatch with the purple and the pink. Let's do the red and the green. Uh, and the reason why I'm gonna do red and green, actually I'll do purple and blue. Um, the reason to do that is that if I do, nope, I wanna do, sorry, blue and orange. Um, the reason to do that is to see how, like before, see how these colors I feel like supported each other and created some harmony. If I'm gonna cross hatch these colors in pen, um, this is hopefully gonna be another way to create your darks, right? Because what's gonna happen if we remember HIV, color, hue, intensity, and value, what's gonna happen is that when I mix my orange with my blue, I should get a black or a brown, or at least I should make it more dull. Um, and that doesn't really seem to be happening. So what I'm discovering is that my pens mix, slight, mix slightly differently than if I was using other colors. Um, so it kind of make, becomes like an interesting color combination, right? And it's, ooh, but the more I layer it, right, the more the color changes. And the more it starts looking like a black, the more I like, if I make this like totally solid, I could probably make it look black. Um, so you could also decide, you know, whatever color you put on first pro affects things too, right? So I could start off with the orange. Um, I was using the darker blue in your pen set versus the lighter blue in your pen set. So I did the blue, so now I'm gonna try the red. What does the red look like with the orange? Um, there is no yellow in your pen set, so just keep that in mind. And one thing by layering the colors, what happens is it gives you more depth. All right, that's cross-hatching with two colors.